certainly one of the big ideas that people are excited about when trying to explain what makes humans different from other species is that there's something about how we cooperate that's very different. Um, and one of the things that stands out is that we're incredibly altruistic. So we're willing to help somebody at a cost to ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and all of us has, have done this before where at great cost to yourself, you've done something for somebody else. And this is something that scientists are, are pretty, some scientists are pretty convinced that this is really different about our species, that, that nature is really red in tooth and claw. Um, so given that this is something that so obviously seems to be human, um, uh, people have been excited to look at animal behavior. One of the things that animals do is um, many of them live in groups, um, and particularly our closest relatives. So if you think of primates, and in particularly uh, if you think about our closest relatives, chimpanzees, um, they live in groups, and many times they eat together. And some scientists who study them in the wild have argued that actually they're sharing, and that they're sharing in altruistic ways. So um, on, the, on the flip side, some people have argued, no, 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 uh, it's not that they're sharing voluntarily, they're actually being forced to share that they're being harassed by their um, fellow group mates, and they don't want to share. Um, they just have to share, because the other guy just won't go away. Um, so so uh, I'm sure you might have experienced that also in your lives. Right, I mean, people, <laughs> people sometimes argue that about us, that the only reason that we share ever is because we're going to get something in return. Exactly. So what we wanted to do is test this idea. We wanted to challenge the notion that it's only humans that are unique and just find out if one of our closest relatives is capable of voluntarily sharing. So if we can roll the video, I'll explain an experiment we did um, uh, in Africa at an orphanage to look at this. So the question we have is do uh, uh, our closest relatives voluntarily share? This is my student, Susie Quatwinda. She's the first Congolese student ever to study bonobo or, uh, uh, primate psychology in Congo. She's going to place food in a test room. It's a test room that has two adjacent rooms. And in one of them, you see there's a bonobo. And behind that um, room, uh, there is a key that's locking that individual into that room. Um, she's going to place the food into the center room. And then we're going to let another um, individual uh, into the room. And that individual has a choice. It can eat all of the food. Or it can open a one-way key that will let its neighbor into the room. Now, the neighbor is actually somebody they've never met before. It's a stranger. So there's really no reason to do that. So the question is, will they share or will they be little selfish pigs? So uh, it looks like they're going to be selfish pigs. But wait. This is completely spontaneous. We don't train them anything. We just taught them that they can open that door. And what you see is this individual opens the door and shares the food with its um, neighbor. So what we can conclude from this is actually, uh, in an experimental setting, <laughs> it's fun if you're a primate to voluntarily share. Wait a second, wait a second. But why? If you're, if you're, if you're uh, uh, one of these primates who, who has all the food, why would you share? I mean, you've got all the food. It's true. Then so, you would have half of the food. So why would you share? Well, luckily, we have uh, an entire panel that is looking at the why question. <laughs> um, and we have other people on the panel uh, who study empathy. And that may be part of it, is that they just have a feeling that they feel bad for the other individual who doesn't have food. It could be a political strategy. Uh, it could be that these guys are little politicians. And they're saying, you know what? I don't know you, but you might share with me later. <laughs> um, uh, or it could be they're selfishly they say, you know what? I just want to go on a blind date. <laughs> so, so we're working to try to figure out why it is that they're sharing, but what we know is that they voluntarily will donate things to someone else.